Hello and welcome back to SAP Plant Maintenance Training. This is Farooq from Cuba ERP. In the previous sessions, we have been looking at how to do a goods issue for a stock and a non-stock item against a maintenance order. In this session, we are going to see how to do how to do a goods issue for a stock item, but which is serial managed. So we can have a lot of serial managed items, both many of the equipment or the parts, they come by serial numbers. So whenever there's a serial number, it add, it adds a bit of a complication. So let's see how it works. So what I will do is I will first create an order, and then I will show you how the serial numbers are maintained. So let's create an order IW thirty one. I'm using the equipment as same desktop. Uh, Plants 1000, business area 1000, press enter. So, what we are going to say here in the operation now is the upgrade of the memory module. So, we are going to upgrade the memory module. Operations 1 hour 1 1, press enter go into components so component we have got is memory so we need two memory modules let's change it to two item category will be L stock item S lock plant 1000 press enter So this is, uh, we have just added a serial managed item. So how do we know it is a serial managed item? So let me just save this order before I go into this to the permits here. And I will also release this order. Save it. So after this one I have an order number. So in the meantime let's take a look at, uh, so we have order number. Let's take a look at the material. So if I go into MM03, memory. So there are two places in the material master where you can say this is a serial managed item. So I, you can either say this one in sales view but I have not maintained the sales view so you can see this one in the storage 2 view so as I said here sales 3 view or storage view plant s lock press enter serial number profile so I picked up a serial number profile here so this is also config the different serial number profiles depend on how do you want to use them what you need to add what sort of number should be there how long the number should be there if it is an alphanumeric it is not alphanumeric it is only alpha it is only numeric so these are all coming from this configuration so i picked the one profile so once i pick up this profile and attach the material master then it becomes you cannot do any transaction for this material unless you give your serial number. So now if I go back into the order IW33 and also let me just open another session to take a look at the stock situation. MB52 there is no stock. So basically we need to buy the stock. So if we go into the component, costs, cost should be there already. This is the cost of spares. In the component, you go in the component, select the line, go into general data, again there is a reservation. So let's go into MD04. zero stock but we have got two requirements so the net is minus two 
again we go into MD02. Change our planning mode to 3 and then run it. So we have a purchase acquisition now again. Let's go and look into MD04. We have the purchase acquisition. Let's convert this purchase acquisition into a purchase order. It is quite convenient to go from here directly into the purchase order screen. If I had stock, I could have done it directly, but I don't have stock, so that's why I'm going this way. Uh, let me put the organization. Then I'm just going to drop it into the shopping cart or a shopping trolley. Looks like a shopping trolley. It is asking me for the vendor. I'll give the vendor, press enter, and it's 25 euro cost. And let's save this order. This will give me a purchase order number. Let's go back. So we are in. Uh, let's refresh this one. We should have a purchase. Order. We have a purchase order number. We don't have a, uh, the requisition is gone now. So if I just go into my go, do a GR against the purchase order number. Change this one to good receipt against purchase order number. Let's copy the. Copy the purchase order number here, put the purchase order number, press enter. Now what you are going to see is that we have got material, quantity, where, we got the purchase order data, we got the partner, we got account assignment, then we have got something different called serial number. So this was not there before. So either we can do is, as I said in my notes, uh, either you can create a serial number by transaction IQ01 and then use the same serial number in this transaction. But I don't think that is an efficient way. Some companies can do that, some companies do that, but uh, whenever you're buying some component or part number, the serial number will be on the part number. So you will not know that serial number beforehand. You will only know the serial number once the part has been delivered by the vendor. So that's why let's put uh, some Serial number, arbitrary serial, serial 155 and serial 179. So we we got two serial numbers. Press enter. Item is okay and we post it. So once we post it, uh, we will have a stock now. So whenever there's any transaction happening on this material, you will have to give some serial numbers. The serial numbers would be those serial numbers which are existing in stock. The cost system is going to keep track of each and every serial number unless it is archived. So now we have received, let's take a look at stock. I will go into different transaction MMBE. Because MB52 will only show me stock, it will not show me the serial numbers. So we have got the serial number, we got a reservation. We can go here and see the serial number. So you can see the serial numbers are there. These are the two serial numbers that we have got in stock now. So the order, let's go back into our order, IW33, the order is already released, it is already, we have done all this process, uh, the next one is only, I mean we can go into now IW41, confirm this order. 
there's no goods movement there's nothing in the goods movement area there's no component because we did not do the back flush and also whenever you're putting a serial number it will not let you do a back flush and save it it is confirmed but again we still need to do the goods issue so we will again go back into our my go and we will do goods issue against the reservation so we need to pick up the reservation number let's go back into the order IW33 go back into component general data reservation number put the reservation number here press enter now system is asking you what serial number are you going to post so I will just pick up the serial number that I created last time or you can do a MB50 MMBE and take a look at the serial numbers available and then copy and paste them here system has accepted the serial numbers there's no issue I can just say item OK and post so once the posting is done it should go back into the order update the cost and this is how goods issue for a serial number item is done and uh, if I go back to take a look at MD04 there shouldn't be there's no requirement I think the stock has already gone back to zero so going back into the order IW33 uh, go to costs the cost has been actual cost has now been posted so that's about it um, the process of doing a goods issue for a serial number managed item and the remaining process are almost same the techo the variance calculation settlement and the business completion so I will end here and in the next session we'll meet with a new topic thank you and bye